Hello everyone and welcome back and welcome to my declutter. I had mentioned in my last video that I was going to be doing a bit of a declutter because it's about time, it's about time I stop hoarding products that are far too old to be putting on my face. So this is probably going to be quite a long video so I am just going to hop straight into it because like I said a lot of these are expired so that's going to be an easy decision to toss those. Um, if there are slightly newer products that might be okay to kind of pass on, um, then I will make a note of those and kind of put those to one side. These are my complexion products and that's what we are going to start with. And I'm hoping that we can just get a slightly more condensed, a slightly more minimal collection out of today. And I just want to keep products that I'm genuinely really excited to use and to have in my collection. Okay, I'm going to start by getting all the primers out. Okay, oh, rolling away. Okay, so these are my current primers. I hope I haven't missed any in any other little containers. I don't think I have. So I know I'm gonna be keeping my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. This is one of my favorite products. Similarly to that, my e.l.f. Halo Glow. This is another kind of fairly new one. It's less than a year old, but I know it's still good. And in the summer, this is a really good color match for me. So I know that this is one I'm going to be holding on to. My NYX Plump Right Back. Is this ever going to focus on anything today? Here we go. <laughs> um, yeah, this is another really good drugstore one. I've nearly finished this, so I will keep this just so that I can use it up because I'm not too far off that now. Similarly, my NARS Radiance Primer. This is pretty, pretty used up. So I'm going to keep this in my collection just because I know it's one that I can probably finish up fairly soon if I just keep at it. And again, it's not too old. So that leaves these three here. I don't know what happened to this Hamish one. I think something exploded in my makeup bag and it's looking just a little bit gross. Um, this is also slightly older. So I think this is one I'm going to get rid of. My Revlon Skin Lights, this is really old as well now. Um, one of my favorite products, really do enjoy it. I'm not sure if you can get hold of this anymore. It's kind of disappearing <laughs> off the face of the earth. If you do see it in store anywhere, I do recommend picking it up because it is a really nice one. This is quite a new one to me. It's from Paul and Joe, and it's their moisturizing foundation primer. I do probably need to use this one a little bit more and test it out. It's very, very new. I've not used it an awful lot. And if I think someone else might get a bit more use out of it, then I will pass it along. But um, yeah, it's one I will try a couple more times and then it might be one that I pass on. Okay, so that is primers. I am keeping five. Oh, Winnie, what do you think? <laughs> so I am keeping these five and I'm going to have to throw away these two here on the end. Okay, I feel like that's an okay start, right? I only have the one setting spray. It's my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush, so this isn't gonna be going anywhere. Okay, so foundation is where I'm gonna have to make some pretty brutal decisions here because I know so many of these are a few years old, some even older than that, and I just need to part with them. Oh, I don't even know where I wanna start. I'm gonna start with this one. This is the L'Oreal Tree Match. This is a really nice foundation, one of my favorites from the drugstore, but I know I've had this in my collection for far too long, and I think it's time. I think it's time to say goodbye. Uh, this is one as well I'm going to pass on. Um, it's not my favorite formula. I mean, I do like it, but I just never ever reach for it. And therefore it's not one that I think I need in my collection. My two Givenchy foundations. These are my all time favorite foundation. I'm gonna keep both of these. Another very obvious keep for me is gonna be my Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. I also have two of my Rose Ink Skin Enhanced Tinted Serum. I'm gonna keep shade 20. I've got shade 10 and 20. Shade 10 is far, far too light for me. If you watched my review on these, you would have seen that was just, it was ghostly, it was ghostly. <laughs> and I'm pale, but even that was, was a bit too much for me. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. I think that's this one here. And I'm gonna hold on to shade 20. My Glossier Skin Tint is one I'm working through my Project Pan, so I'm gonna hold on to that one. My Lancome. Tonti Doll. I think I'm gonna have to get rid of this. It's a very thick foundation, not one I've reached for. Nastia Glow, this is an absolute classic. I'm gonna be keeping this one. 
I'm also going to hold on to my L'Oreal Tinted Serum. This is a really nice one and because I have decluttered the True Match foundation, I am going to hold on to the True Match Serum because this is significantly newer <laughs> than that one. So I will be keeping this one. Oh, now I'm just really unsure. Um, I think MAC Face and Body is going to have to go. I love this one. It's really, really nice. Definitely recommend, but it's pretty empty and it's definitely been in my collection for a good few years. This is quite a tough one for me. I really enjoy this formula. Um, it's a couple of years old and you can't get by Beauty anymore. So this one I am going to pass along. And I think I'm also going to get rid of these two. Um, I don't reach for this a lot. It's the Aborian Super BB Cream. And my Catrice True Skin, a really good drugstore foundation. Um, a really nice one. But again, just not one I reach for. I'm not wearing a lot of heavy foundations and this definitely is more on the full coverage side of things. And I just think someone else could probably get a lot more wear out of this one. So that was pretty, pretty brutal. Um, I have seven foundations here that I'm gonna be keeping. Really, really happy with this kind of selection. And then these are the eight foundations I'm going to be, unfortunately, passing on or throwing away. Okay, so for my concealers, automatically, this Urban Decay Stay Naked is one that needs to leave. Um, I don't even like this concealer and it's old, so that is just a big no-no. Um, my two Catrice ones, again, I think are just a little bit too old. I do enjoy these. The True Skin is a really nice and medium coverage, but it's still very skin-like. Um, but again, just a bit too old. This Charlotte Tilbury Magic Way. Um, as you can see, I have used quite a lot of this, but it is old now. The formula is very dry. Even when it's a brand new concealer, it was very dry. So now it's a couple of years old. You can only imagine. <laughs> only imagine how the formula has changed and it's just not one that I reach for. I do have my Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. Um, this is nice. I don't think it's my favorite kind of doe foot creamy concealer. Um, so I am still on the hunt for another one. I might try the Kosas. I know that one is meant to be really nice, um, but I will keep hold of this because it is new and I do enjoy it. I do reach for it. I then have my three pot concealers, my Glossier. This is very, very used. So yeah, I'm gonna keep this one because I know it's one I will be able to finish very soon. And um, the same with my RMS concealer. This is in my Project Pan and my NARS as well. Um, this is one similar to the Glossier and the RMS. Uh, I will be finishing up pretty soon. So I'm gonna keep hold of that. Okay, so that was quite easy actually. I've got four that I'm getting rid of and four that I am keeping. Okay, I'm now gonna move on to my face powders. This is gonna be quite easy. This is also not a face powder, that's a highlight. So I'm gonna move that, um, move that along. Got my Charlotte Tilbury. Yeah, I really enjoy this one. And as you can see, I have hit pan. So I am gonna be keeping this one. My About Beauty, this is in my own project pan. I'm gonna be keeping that one as well. This is um, quite a new one in my collection. It's the Rimmel Stay Matte. I really like this. It's a really nice drugstore option. So I am gonna keep that as well. My Hourglass Trio, which has escaped me in the back. Um, yeah, this one I'm gonna be keeping. I really like the quality of these powders and this is quite an expensive trio. So I do want to keep it in my collection because I do enjoy reaching into it. Um, I'm going to get rid of this Glossier one. I never ever reach for loose powder, ever. <laughs> And this is quite old as well. So I'm going to get rid of this. Um, and then I might see if my mum wants this one. Um, she does like a bit of Bare Minerals. And again, it's not one that I really reach for. Might be a bit pale for her. <laughs> if not, I'm sure one of my friends would probably take it. Again, it's just not a type of product I find myself reaching for. So I feel like someone else could get a lot more use out of it. Okay, so these are the four that I'm gonna be keeping. And then I have two that I am getting rid of slash passing on. Okay, so now we have my cheek products. So these are all of my blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. So let's start with the bronzers. I hope everything's here. As you can see, these containers are massively overflowing, which is part of the problem that I'm having. Okay, let's start with bronzers. Automatically, yes, gonna be keeping my humongous Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer. Um, my Chanel, I'm gonna keep this one as well. This one from RMS, um, I won't lie, is an absolute pile of poo. It's the most patchy, 
bronzer i don't like it at all very patchy which is a shame because i like rms um but this powder was just a huge flop for me so i will be getting rid of this one um this hourglass trio my goodness the state of this is abysmal and i'm too embarrassed to open it but i will just for shits and gigs um yeah i mean if this doesn't scream expired if this doesn't scream i need throwing away do not look at me i don't know what does um yeah okay goodbye <laughs> my film stuff on glow this is another very well loved product from me um it's in my project pan so it's one that i'm currently working through and i will be keeping this my nude sticks bronzer i will keep this my elf party bronzer of course i will be keeping this one of my favorite cream bronzers that i discovered last year um okay now out of these four the only one i'm going to keep around is my benefit hula light um as you can see i'm almost out of this as well so i do want to keep plugging away at it okay so that's six bronzers over here that i am keeping very happy with this um i will pick up a few more bronzers this year as well once I finish up my new sticks and I probably will finish a couple of other ones as well. So yeah, I'm excited. I feel happy about that selection. And then I have five over here that I'm going to be getting rid of. Okay, moving on to blush. Okay, straight away, this one is jumping out at me. I didn't even know I still had this in my collection. Another product that I think I picked up years ago when I interned at Benefit, so is one that can go because i thought it already had <laughs> i picked this one up last summer as part of the new um the new range the benefit came out with for their blushes a really nice coral a very fun summer shade and one that i wore all of the time last year um i have a couple of nars ones these are quite old but i do really like them so i have love joy it has almost like a brown terracotta undertone to it i really like it it's battered, it's bruised, but it is still one of my favorites. So <laughs> I am gonna keep it. And then Madly is the second last blush I have here. Again, this is one of my absolute favorites. It's my go-to blush if I don't know what color blush to wear because it's so neutral. It's just a really kind of basic nudie pink and I find it's a really flattering shade. Okay, Tarte, goodness me, how old is this one? This is Dollface. This is one of your classic like blue toned very cool toned pink shades and i have a similar blush from the balm which is in my project pan and if i'm going to reach for a tone like this it's going to be the one from the balm let's see how similar they are actually okay they are actually quite different now that i'm looking at them mm. oh that's made me second guess myself here you know i might keep them i might keep the tart one because looking at it i thought it was a lot more similar in tone but you can see that the and the balm one is a bit more neutral and Tarte Doll Face is definitely that cool toned, very blue based pink. And I don't think I have anything else like that. So, well, there we go. I'll keep that one. Um, yes, I'm obviously keeping my frat boy um, from the balm. This is my blush science experiment because um, I want to see how long it takes me to pan on this extremely pigmented, extremely stubborn blush. Okay, what else have we got here? I've got a couple of Charlotte Tilbury ones. I have First Love. This was the first one that I picked up. So this is a really nice, again, neutral pink, similar to Nars Madly, just a really good staple everyday blush. And then I have Ecstasy. This is a bit brighter, has that really nice coral pop in the middle really like this one and this one is slightly newer to my collection so i will be keeping this one as well this laura mercier one right this is one that i'm going to declutter as it falls out of my hand this is in lush nectarine really pretty shade like really pretty very similar to nars orgasm uh benefit coralista when that was a thing this is the old packaging for the laura mercier blushes so when you know that means it's quite old and um, it's not one that I've reached for for quite a while. So I am going to declutter this. Um, this one as well, I'm gonna declutter. This is an RMS cream blush. Um, this is in the shade Midnight, no, not Midnight Kiss, Twilight Kiss. So it's kind of like a purple 
mauvey colour. I mean, I don't have anything like this in my collection, but that's not necessarily a good thing because that also means it's not a colour I gravitate towards. I will be getting rid of this. I maybe want it a couple of times, but I just never reach for it. Some quick ones that I'll be keeping. My Charlotte Tilbury Globegasm Wand in Pinkgasm. This is weeks old in my collection, so we're still in the honeymoon phase, so I'm definitely going to be keeping this. Definitely keeping my Rose Ink Blush in Azalea. Very long lasting, love the colour and I really enjoy the formula. This is another New Sticks one. This is in Beach Babe. This is again a really nice long lasting cream blush formula and I really do like the colour. One that I reach for quite a lot in the summer. So my Bare Minerals blush, I'm going to keep this. This is in the shade On The Mauve. The e.l.f. Uh, Primer Infused Blush in Always Rosy. I really like this one. This is a matte formula as you can see and very long lasting, a really good affordable blush. Milani Luminoso, I'm gonna be keeping this as well. Love this in the summer. And it's a very, very classic staple blush for a lot of people. This is an hourglass blush in Dim Infusion. I really love this, I love hourglass powders, so I'm gonna be keeping this one. This is um, an Illamasqua Color Veil, so this is a cream product. It's quite, um, quite liquidy. Discovered this last year. And I do really like it actually. It's a really nice terracotta orange shade. Okay, now these are definitely quite old in my collection. My four beloved cloud paints. I know I don't need all of these. Dusk is my favorite, um, so I will keep this. Dawn, again, this is uh, slightly newer than the other three. It's not new, definitely not but it's not as old <laughs> as the other three. So this one I'm also gonna keep. And I think I'm gonna get rid of these two. So this is, um, what's this one, Beam, which is a nice kind of apricot peach, and then Puff, which is a cool toned pink. I know there's gonna be other cream blushes that I'm going to want to buy this year. And yeah, I just think these two are not ones I get a whole lot of use out of, and they are quite old, and I probably should get rid of them. But I will keep Dusk and dawn as well so 17 blushes here that i am going to be keeping and i've only decluttered five hmm not the best ratio but i do really like blush so i'm gonna allow myself the 17. So this is my reduced cheek collection. All of my blushes fit in this little container, which is actually quite satisfying, but means I cannot buy any more. <laughs> um, I then have my bronzers in here and my two highlights in the back. So pretty chuffed with that. It's definitely not overflowing as it once was. So I feel really good with that. So here are my brow products. Uh, there's quite a lot, actually. <laughs> a lot more than I thought there was. I know that this uh, Benefit Brow Gel, this is the 24 hour brow setter. I know that this has run out and it's finished and it needs to go in my empties bin. I think I'm going to pass on my Rose Ink Brow Gel. It doesn't quite give me the hold that I'm looking for. It's really good for just light fluffy brows, but I do have a couple of other brow gels that I prefer. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this, smell it as well. Hmm, yeah, it smells a bit funky, so let's, let's say bye-bye to her. Um, my Kosas products, I am going to be keeping. My e.l.f. pencil, I'm also going to be keeping. Along with my Refi brow sculpt. And these two, oh my god, this browsings. Do they even make this anymore? I don't think they do. I mean, she's well-loved, and browsings was one of my favourite brow products for so many years. Um, I even had the old version before they repackaged it into this, like, space age kind of silver metallic pack um, but this is far too old and it's not one that I use anymore and my Glossier brow flick um, this is dried up wow that lid literally went flying um, yeah this is dried up okay so we're keeping five and I'm getting rid of these four right here oh thanks Winnie <laughs> Okay, so I have a few single 
eyeshadows. I have some crayons here as well. I have a feeling a lot of these are gonna have to go, unfortunately. This is one of her pencil kind of stick formulas. Might still be okay, but I just feel like it's a bit dry. Oh, what do you think, Winnie? Yeah, actually not as dry as I thought. So I might hold on to that one. Also got one of the Laura. <laughs> oh my gosh, your big orange what's it head is in the way. Um, I've also got one of the Laura Mercier caviar sticks. This is in the shade Amethyst, which is a really nice purple shade. Um, this has also been in my collection for years, years and years. I think this was one of my first cream stick eyeshadows I ever purchased. So I feel like this needs to, this needs to be, be thrown away, I think. This little Ilia, oh, Winnie's back again. Um, liquid powder shadow. I never really wear this. Yeah, I don't really wear this. Oh yeah, it's like gone orange and there's like nothing really coming off the wand there. So I think that's maybe a safe, a safe throw away. Okay, so I have two of my Chanel shadows. Oh, she's back again. <laughs> oh, thank you, innocent. This is completely dried up. And again, this is one I thought I had already got rid of, to be honest. Um, oh my God, Winnie. <laughs> Move your head out of the way. Um, as you can see, it's like so dry in there. Um, yeah, so I think this is one that I'm going to have to pass on. Pass on to the bin that is. Um, Patine Bronze, I'm working through this at the moment. Love this one, still going strong. So yes, I'm going to keep that. And then I have two um, Charlotte Tilbury eyes to mesmerize. So this one is Oyster Pearl, I believe. I then have the shade Champagne. So I'm gonna hold on to both of these. Oh my gosh, that is my cream eyeshadow collection right there. Only four, hmm, pretty good. Room, room to grow, definitely. Um, and then these are the three that I'm gonna be um, getting rid of, far too old. So I only have four eyeliners. I have a couple of pencils. I'm gonna keep both of these. I've got my Charlotte Tilbury Barbara Brown and my Urban Decay Demolition. I then have a couple of liquid formulas. I have this one from Paul and Joe. This is like a pen kind of felt tip style. I really like this. I find it very easy to use and relatively new in my collection as well. So I'm gonna be keeping that. I'm gonna be getting rid of this Catrice one. Well, not a horrible formula, but it's quite old and I just don't reach for this. Okay, so we've got rid of one and we are now left with three eyeliners. Mascaras, the only one I'm gonna be keeping is my Charlotte Tilbury um, Pillow Talk Lash because this is definitely in date, definitely usable, really enjoying this one at the moment. Um, I then have two here that need to go. They're both in this like metal packaging as well, <laughs> I've realized. Um, this RMS one, I never really liked this one to be honest. And that this smudged so badly on me. And the Too Faced Better Than Set, because this is quite dry now as well. It didn't sound very dry. Maybe I'll keep this in. Um, actually, maybe I'll be able to get a couple more uses out of this. So keeping these two, and I'm gonna get rid of my RMS. I do not have a very big eyeshadow palette collection. I also have a couple of face palettes in here. Um, so this might be relatively easy to sort through. I'm gonna start with my kind of smaller palettes. So I have this one from NARS. I think I'm gonna keep this. I love the shade here. It's really pretty, really reflective. And I always love that all over the lid. And then there's a couple of fun pops of color in there as well. So I'm gonna keep this very travel friendly and I do enjoy the formula. Kalahari Eye Duo, my goodness me. This is battered and bruised, like all of my other NARS products. I might get rid of this. I think it's just a bit too old now. Very much loved. And they have repackaged this, probably reformulated it since I picked this version up. But it is nice. It's a really good everyday duo, but it's very old. Very, very old. And then I have two Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palettes. So this is the Sophisticate. I might keep it, but I might look to replace this with another matte palette in the future and um, but for now because I don't have I don't have a neutral matte palette like this I am going to keep this one I'm also going to keep I think it's like Bella Sophia they've renamed this to and um, it was a Dolce Vita really pretty a bit more glam very kind of golden goddess um, I really like this for 
an evening smoky eye. I just think it's really pretty. And this pop shade is really nice as well. So the last of my kind of smaller palettes, this is an um, Urban Decay six pan. This is the um, Petite Heat. It's quite stiff. I'm gonna keep this as well. Again, I just don't have many all matte eyeshadow palettes. Um, especially not these warmer tones. So I'm gonna keep this because I feel like it's a nice staple. So eyeshadow palettes. I mentioned in my low buy that I have two purple monochromatic palettes, which are these two here. For me, I do not need to keep both of these and I feel like I reach for the ColourPop one just a little bit more. So I'm gonna pass this on. Maybe one of my friends might want it if they're feeling daring, if they are feeling like a purple eyeshadow moment. I might pass this one along, but I just don't think I need to and I definitely reach for the ColourPop Making Moves. Um, this is a face palette from Hourglass. It's one of their ambient lighting edits. Really enjoy this. It's a few years old, but I do really like it. I don't feel the need to get rid of it or buy one of the newer ones to replace this. I'm very happy. My Lisa Eldridge palette is very new. Of course, I will be keeping this. Let me just look at her. She is very beautiful, very stunning and very new as well. So I will be keeping this one. This is in Muse, by the way. These two probably need to go, but you know, just for the memories. I just still don't think there's ever been a neutral eyeshadow palette that has hit me quite like this one did. Um, and I might challenge myself to try and find an alternative neutral palette to this one and also my Naked 2. I'm gonna hold on to them just because I do want to reference the shades and the textures for perhaps an upcoming kind of dupe video. Um, this is a face palette from Kevin Aquan really enjoy this actually the contour shades are really really lovely and the blush i do really enjoy so i'm gonna keep this i just need to remind myself to use it my battered matte palette this is all that glitters down here which um is basically just one giant pan but i do still want to fill this um so i'm gonna keep this another very nostalgic product for me my sigma ambiance palette of course i'm gonna be keeping this i mean just look at her she is a bronzed beauty and I love so many of these shades definitely my favorite and warm tone neutral palette at the moment I just love it I then have my tartlet and bloom so yeah, as you can see I really don't have an extensive eyeshadow palette collection and for that reason I am tempted to also keep this one so aside from my two urban decay palettes these are the ones that I'm keeping and then I'm gonna pass on my purple Huda Beauty. Okay, so the final category is lips and there might be some random lipsticks floating around in various bags, but to be honest, if they're in my bag, it means I'm using them. So they're probably safe from this declutter. So, so these are all of the lip liners that I own. I think I'm gonna keep all of these. I'm not getting rid of any of these. I like them all, I use them all equally. Yeah, a couple of these I'm close to finishing up as well. So I think my lip liners are going to stay as is. So my MAC lipsticks. I know so many of these are quite old as well. So let's go through them. This is on hold. So this is a really nice bright coral pink. Um, actually, I'm going to keep this one. Um, the next one is Marrakesh. This is actually one of the newer ones to my collection. A really beautiful brown toned, very like neutral red. Really pretty. And again, this one is slightly newer. Not a shade I wear all the time, but um, it is a nice one. And I don't have many like this in my collection. So the next one is Sea Ship. Oh my God, that is, I think this one needs to be thrown away. What do you guys think? <laughs> oh my God, it's like frostbitten almost. That's gross. So this is Brave. And um, this one I've just put into my project pan. So I will keep this. This is Twig. Um, I think this is gonna be another textural nightmare. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's a bit petri just like, isn't it? So I think we'll get rid of this. The last one I have is Velvet Teddy. I think I'm going to keep hold of this one as well. I definitely have another Charlotte Tilbury lip, um, lipstick, but for some reason, there's only four here. And um, for some reason, my camera will not focus on any one of them. So this is Miranda May. This is one of my favorite shades. It's a really nice bright coral, really nice summer shade. 
I'm gonna keep that one. This one is Bitch Perfect, red carpet red, a really nice bright red. I don't have too many reds in my collection, so I will keep this one in. I really like the formula and it's a nice matte shade as well, but without being too drying, so I'm gonna keep this one. Bond Girl, I'm going to, I'm gonna keep this one as well. Okay, now I have some random kind of miscellaneous lipsticks. This is a Catrice lipstick. This is one of their Clean ID in Mocha Delight. I really like this shade, really creamy, really moisturizing. And that color is a really nice nude. So I do enjoy this one. My Glossier Generation G. This is in Cake, I think. Yep, I'm gonna keep this one as well. Also gonna keep my Tom Ford. I would never get rid of this. Um, it's stunning. It's one of the most luxurious lipsticks I have in my collection. Um, and this is a really nice one in the summer. Okay, this is one I am going to get rid of. This is a Bare Minerals lipstick in the shade Purpose. This is very, very purple. I mean, you can see. I just don't find this color to be particularly flattering on my skin tone. It's definitely stunning there, like when I swatch it. Um, but I think I've maybe worn this once in a video and I hated it and I haven't worn it since. So this one is going to be going. Um, this Huda Beauty one is quite new to me as well. So I'm going to keep this. I then have two Givenchy lipstick. This is a shade 338, a really nice red. Um, and then this is like, my new favorite lipstick. This is a shade 27 from Givenchy. It's more on the sheer side, but I mean, I just am obsessed with the color. So it's this one here on the end. I'm just obsessed with how it looks on the lips, honestly. I think it's such a nice nude that's a tiny bit brighter, pulls a tiny bit more orange, a bit more peachy, but I just love it. I find myself reaching for this all the time at the moment. And then lastly, another RMS product that I'm going to be decluttering. <laughs> RMS have not survived many rounds, have they, today. Formula just doesn't last on my lips, like, at all. Um, and I have so many other nude lipsticks that do last, so for that reason, I am going to declutter this. These are the last of my, kind of, lipstick products. So, this first one is from Hourglass. This is in Creator. This needs to be thrown away. It's very old. Um, I then have one of the Fresh Sugar. Oh, I have two of these, actually. Um, so this is Tulip. I might pass this on to my mum. Oh, wow. <laughs> hmm. She's obviously been a bit squished in there. And I will keep this one. So this is in Spice, which is a nice, really nice warm nude. Um, this Colourpop lippy stick. This is in Cookie. It is a really nice shade, actually. A nice everyday nude. Not my favourite formula in the world. Uh, these are quite drying. Okay, this is a Rose Ink crayon i don't know if they have these anymore i know that they have their lipsticks um this is a very it's coming up quite red on camera but it's more pink it's more of a kind of deep raspberry i'm gonna pass that on okay so i have two bite products um i think this one i'm definitely gonna pass on so this is one of their lip crayons in sugarcane i think this was one of their most like popular shades but I just really didn't find it flattering on me. I didn't love the formula and I can definitely smell this has gone off. So that's a definite no-go. The next one is one of their matte lipsticks in Harissa. A very warm, very pigmented colour. I think this is also going to be one I am going to throw away. I do think it's a bit old. So last up I have my um, lip glosses. My camera has decided it's just not going to work anymore. <laughs> I think it's done too much decluttering. Um, so I'm gonna keep most of these. The only two that I'm going to get rid of are gonna be my Glossier lip gloss and this Ilia um, lip gloss in Only You. Um, everything else is gonna stay. I really enjoy my gloss collection at the moment. So I'm gonna keep all of these ones. I definitely feel happy with being able to put all of these on my lips and knowing <laughs> that they are in date. And then these are the ones I'm going to be decluttering mainly because of age and they're just not performing um, like they once were, so goodbye. So that is my <laughs> mini one to show you two. Um, so yeah, that's been my declutter. I definitely am happy with the progress. I feel like I can see everything. My containers aren't overflowing. 
and I'm genuinely excited about everything that I have in my collection. So I hope that you enjoyed. Um, if you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.